For two years, a team of top scientists secretly studies a unique fossil. The fossil has more information in it than in any fossil I've ever seen. They believe that it could shed new light on human evolution. Well, it's really a kind of Rosetta Stone because it ties together parts we haven't been able to associate before. Their research will stun the world. This fossil will probably be the one that will be pictured in all textbooks for the next hundred years. They may have found the first ever link to human beings. In the moment when the results of our investigations will be published, this will be just like an asteroid hitting the Earth. Our fossil is a landmark fossil. It's the one that will be compared and shown as the early primate for a long, long time. It's, it's really the only skeleton that we have a complete foot, we have a complete hand, we have a complete skull, and all this in the same individual. There's a lot of strange things going on when you find a complete skeleton because all your theories are really tested in one specimen. This jumble of different characters uh, is, is very, very exciting because you see things that are more anthropoid-like. You see things that are certainly extremely primitive. You see things that maybe should be more like a lemur. And, and you see all these characters in the same skeleton. And you need to try to explain evolution in a new way, the early evolution of primates in a new way, because it's there. You cannot take them away. You cannot say that, okay, I will put the ankle bone in this group and I will put the teeth in this group. This is really one specimen that's frozen in time and, and all these characters are there. And this, this is part of the world heritage. A find like this is something for all humankind. This is truly a, a fossil that's a world heritage. For the team of scientists, Ida's fossilised remains are much more than just a frozen moment in time. She's opened a window into the world of 47 million years ago. A time known as the Eocene. The world was very different from today. There were no polar ice caps. Deep sea ocean currents weren't flowing. The continents were drifting all factors that produced a much warmer climate than today. The Earth was experiencing its greatest increase in average temperature ever known, resulting in a jungle world, lush, warm and wet. Rainforests covered most of the globe. The Eocene period is really the critical stage for uh, mammal evolution. It's when all the old timers, they are still around and the newcomers are coming strongly into the field. And of course the primates, they are thriving. There's so many different ones in the Eocene. Ida typifies that primate evolution. Even though she lived her life millions of years ago, she shares many characteristics with modern primates. She was small and agile. Her body was perfectly adapted for life in the jungle. She would have looked like many of the lemurs and primitive monkeys of today. 
Her teeth even show similarities to humans. In many ways, she appears to display the blueprint of primate anatomy. To see uh, what those who have been working in these fields for all their careers uh, will make of this new uh, sudden uh, revelation. Uh, for some, it will no doubt confirm what they suspected. Uh, and there may be some, I don't know, but there may be some who will have a nasty surprise uh, to discover that this is the way it went and not that way, which is what they might have thought until now. We just have to wait and see.